dear John, I cannot recall the last time we wrote letters to each other. You would agree, I was never quite the eloquent one, often failing dismally to string my feelings together in a coherent sentence. Yet, here I am, with a pen in hand and with some stray thoughts lingering in the corners of my mind. There are things to say, John, things that have gone unheard, thoughts left unspoken, feelings that were left unfelt. I have been keeping all the letters that I wrote to you, knowing that I will never have the courage to send them. All those letters only bear testimony that in my lonely moments, my thoughts run to you and only you. And with you comes a flood of memories, long repressed, but never forgotten. We never said much to each other. Words were never quite enough to express what we were feeling. But who needed words really, when there was so much to feel? We are gathered here today to witness the communion of Johnson Ferdinand Berry and Catherine Susan Mays. Do you, Catherine Susan Mays, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Do you, Johnson Ferdinand Berry, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And while we swayed, I knew in my heart right then that you were mine forever now. An eternity of togetherness awaited us. I think of all those promises now, John. How we promised to be with each other in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor. And at times, and it kills me now to realize that you've left me alone now. Mrs. Perry, I'm really sorry to inform you, but your husband died in a car accident. I'm really sorry for your loss.
can't answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Hi, this is John. Can't answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Hi, this is John. Can't answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Sometimes when I'm not consumed by this horrid emptiness, I open your wardrobe and run my hands along your clothes. Your clothes still smell of your perfume and I find myself holding them more than once just to feel you. I have tried moving on, John. I knew I had to. And only God knows how hard I have tried. Now, no matter how many drinks I have, or how many clothes I buy, or what new haircut I get, or people I meet, I cannot shake off the feeling that you're still there, watching me, holding me, loving me. How can I move on when your love continues to haunt me? Love, it makes you weak. It makes you long for what you may never have and have longed for you so much. It has taken me a year to write this to you, my love. And though I know you will never read it, still, I want you to know how much I love you. I know that I must try and find some closure, but I will not make any false promises, saying that I will learn to be happy and learn to fall in love again when we both know I can't. Maybe one day we will meet again in the afterlife. Goodbye, my love. Yours and only yours. Katie. Stand there by a broken tree. Hands are all twisted. It's pouring at me. I was damn by light coming. Oh, I see. Spoke with a voice that struck the sky. She said, Oh, all over, yeah, it's a bitter shade.